Poker players. They're stuck sitting all day, and they have phones, so of course they fire off some choice tweets. In this new video series, Card Player is going to take a look at the top poker tweets of the week. Jennifer Tilly is fresh off a 29th place finish in the Aussie Millions main event, but the 2005 WSOP Ladies Event Champ didn't make the tweet beat this week because of her deep run down under. The Academy Award nominated actress tweeted a pic of herself on set this week in Winnipeg, Canada, where she is filming the latest movie in the Child's Play Horror franchise titled Cult of Chucky. Tilly is reprising her role as Tiffany, a murderous doll and the bride of Chucky. Eric Seidel is second on the all-time live tournament earnings list, a Poker Hall of Fame member, and an eight-time WSOP bracelet winner. Although he is in his late 50s, Seidel shows no signs of slowing down, cashing for over $5 million in 2016, and becoming the first player to ever exceed that extremely high benchmark in a calendar year twice. His 2017, on the other hand, is off to a less than stellar start. Seidel tweeted, so far this year, I would trade paychecks with just about anyone. He then added that he has stuck $358,000 this year. Poker players have been known to make a wager or two on the NFL's big game. For some people, like Mike McDonald's buddy who got 230 to 1 on the Patriots when they were down 21 to nothing, the bets worked out quite well. For others, not so much. Scott Seaver said he was all in during the game. After the Falcons lost, he tweeted that he was looking for a stake. Dan Smith also took to Twitter, looking for a backer. Dan O'Brien summed up the thoughts of many people when he fired off the following tweet. Sports betting is stupid. And there you have it, the complete week of sweet tweets on the Poker Tweet Beat. Thanks for checking out this video right here on CardPlayer.com.